Uh, why teeth are important? Let's come to the importance of the teeth um, in our system. It's not only chewing, as I said, it's not only aesthetics, it's also the distribution of forces while we're chewing. Why do we uh, allow orthodontists to extract four healthy teeth to make room, to make jaws smaller so that they look nicer, but uh, everything else just uh, succumbs in, in the whole jaw system? Um, proprioception is uh, important because it actually allows us to control our uh, chewing you know exactly where to stop biting, you know exactly how the muscle is going to react and that's all done through the brain stem. We have no control over it. Uh, it, it proprioception is that important. If that is missing, if teeth are missing, then the whole system is going, um, is getting dysfunctional. Sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. This is the autonomic nervous system. A lot of uh, people don't know about this, but uh, teeth have a purpose in every section of our mouth. Uh, in the front, they act as uh, knives, uh, as scissors, basically to cut or to bite or to attack. Canines are, uh, canine means, uh, you know, dog, basically. It's the fangs that uh, are used basically to tear off something or to catch a prey. So these two, the front um, teeth, are associated with our sympathetic, our adrenal system. You are in fighting mode when you are using your front teeth. Think of an animal catching his prey. Once the prey is down, they have to switch back to parasympathetic mode, peacetime. Which means you have to calm down, you have to start salivating again, and you have to start chewing your food, and that's done with the back teeth. So back teeth is, are related to the parasympathetic system, which have to do with digestion, with um, intestinal peristalsis, everything else that goes, uh, goes on uh, during peace. Profiles, uh, that, uh, jaw profile, having full set of teeth will give you the profile that you need with proper skeletal uh, support. And when you lose teeth, things start to crumble. Your jaws start getting smaller, and uh, your jaw joint will start suffering. <coughs> so it is really the aging process. I think uh, it is one factor that uh, allows, uh, you know, has to do so much with aging than any other factor. So how do we restore missing teeth? Until now, we had titanium, um, which has a lot of its own controversies. But um, even the ancients, just like fittings, they even did uh, their own little implants a long time ago. Um, or they did their own bridges. I mean, these are thousands of years old. Um, they had the same concerns. And uh, the, the shell, of course, being uh, calcium carbonate, really integrated with the bone. That's the whole uh, issue. So is zirconia a metal? Or not, it's a ceramic. This is one area where people really are confused. And I want to stress this fact that metals are metals, they're the elemental form. Zirconium is the metal, titanium is the metal, calcium is the metal, but uh, the oxides are ceramics. They have no, uh, they have completely different um, physical characteristics. And of course, it was really based on public demand that uh, they want to stay away from metals. So Switzerland was uh, one of the first places where people are very um, keen on getting non-metal um, items placed in their bodies. And they have a lot of advantages. Um, it is made up of something that is because it's a ceramic, it doesn't have all the interactions that metals have with the system. It is completely inert. Until now, it was titanium. Uh, there are so many references on titanium. I'm not the expert 
Uh, I can't tell you what titanium causes, uh, whether you will get cancer or autoimmune disease or any other disease, but if you, I did my own research on PubMed, I mean, you can go and just look it up and there are hundreds and hundreds of uh, references that they will also corrode, their ingredients will corrode and they will um, cause some kind of inflammation in the body that may also um, contribute to autoimmune disease. This is another article that uh, specifies titanium represents an emerging cause of skin hypersensitivity. Uh, abnormal electrical currents producing, uh, produced during corrosion can convert any metallic implant into an electrode. Some uh, trivia on zirconia. Uh, as you know, zirconia it looks like diamond, but that's not the form that we use um, in implants. Zirconia as a crystal is very brittle, just like glass, but as a ceramic it's so strong that uh, there is actually a stand down at the exhibit hall that, where they sell uh, zirconia knives. And it's so resistant to uh, corrosion, it's so inert, and it's such a good insulator that I use it as linings for uh, nuclear reactors. And as brake pads. I mean, if you drill on a zirconia implant in the mouth, even if it sparks a, a few molecules down into the implant, there is no rise in temperature. They have a lot of um, benefits. There is no second surgery involved. It's metal free. Uh, as you know, titanium has the benefit or the uh, advantage of being two parts. So where you, when you insert it in the body, it will uh, integrate without any interruptions um, inter and without any uh, you know, physical threat to it. But uh, zirconia cannot, cannot uh, follow the same principle because it's a one piece. But on the other hand, when you put the second piece over the titanium, then it will trap some moisture and some bacteria. And every time a dentist unscrews the top abutment, we call it, there is an awful smell coming out of it. This is just uh, the chemical nature of the, of the ceramic that the implants are made of. Uh, we don't have to go too much into detail. Um, Zirconia is zirconium dioxide, and uh, they use yttrium oxide, which is just another type of ceramic for uh, its, to improve its physical characteristics. A lot of positive reviews. Um, here it says, uh, implants made from zirconia are a feasible or to alternative to titanium dental implants. And the osteointegration, which means their bonding with bone, uh, and soft tissue is superior to titanium dental implants. Not all articles uh, claim this, but a lot of them say they're at least as good as titanium. It's not a cure-all. Uh, some people are not really candidates, um, but this also applies a lot to general <coughs> implants also. Zirconia is also used as crowns. Nowadays, most uh, dentists who use metal-free dentistry uh, use zirconia crowns. Um, Lava is one brand. And uh, nowadays, they have computer-milled zirconia crowns, which are very strong. And um, they are particularly good for grinders and planchers. It's almost like putting on a... a, a full metal steel crown. It's so strong. So this is one of uh, my cases where we had some internal defect on a canine and uh, that is the implant afterwards. That's the same day that we uh, cemented the crown but uh, generally the, the gum response is uh, exceptional. Laser dentistry goes ex 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 extremely well, uh, very compatible with uh, zirconia because you can actually laser the zirconia, nothing would happen, so you can actually go around 
the tooth and around the gums and clear up all the gums. Here you see uh, after a healing phase of uh, about four months, the gums have grown against the zirconia. I actually had to peel the gums away from the zirconia. It grew against it. It was so biocompatible. Does, the, uh, does that embed into the bone? Yes. I'll show you in a second. So this is the same case. Uh, that's the stub uh, after the four-month uh, healing period. And this is another case uh, after lasering. Um, as you see, the margins are where the crown ends, and the future crown ends. This is another metal-based crown, an older crown. That, wait, you see where that ends. And uh, because the ceramic is white, you will not get that black line, just like you do with the metal-based crowns or uh, titanium implants. That's before lasering, that's after lasering. Exceptional gum response. This, these are just some illustrations. Uh, you've heard of cavitations, root canals, fading, cracked teeth. So let's assume that we're extracting this tooth. Um, it has to be cleaned out completely using uh, uh, surgical techniques that clean out uh, the ligament, uh, any soft tissue, any uh, infected tissue, and clean it down to the healthy bone. And um, sometimes we use a graft. Sometimes we use uh, a combination of uh, just uh, maybe no graft, depending on the case. Uh, as long as we ensure that in the future we have adequate depth to put an implant. So that graft or the blood clot will eventually turn into bone. And that is when we are ready to place our implant. The implant is placed. and. We let that heal for about four to six months. <coughs> and then a porcelain crown is placed over it. There is always a homeopathic aspect to every type of treatment, including surgeries, of course. These are just some examples which uh, I may use, but uh, every holistic biological dentist uses different uh, modalities. You generally have to support the bone and the bone quality. Um, that is our main purpose. Vitamin C, a, a lot of it. Um, fatty acids, uh, coenzyme Q10, um, some lymph remedies, and uh, early, in the first two weeks, uh, herbal antibiotics. I generally don't prescribe antibiotics. And I've really never had any more complications, maybe much less complications than a conventional dentist who prescribes antibiotics every day. Uh, the only um, catch to zirconia implants are the protection of the, the abutment. You have to wear something of some sort that will protect the implant under it for about four months. And that is the only drawback. And we really clear it up with the patient beforehand to see if they will follow through. It could be any one of uh, these. It could even be an old partial that is modified. And uh, the whole principle is that nothing should really touch the abutment, not even the tongue, for four months. Because that micro-movement will cause the uh, bone integration to loosen in that four-month period. So this is uh, the top view of what they look like after the healing process and after the crown is placed. Well, thank you very much. Any questions? I think we have a few minutes left.